Peace everyone, I'm Maskard here, and today I'll be showing you how to create this daisy. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the color palette I'm using. The numbers correspond to luminance colored pencils, and I'm coloring on Stonehenge volume paper. For those that support my channel on Patreon, the real-time drawing video is available to you now. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so getting right into this, the way that I started by sketching this was doing a small circle and then doing a circle around that. The next thing that I do is I start sketching in the petals, and the way that I approach this is by drawing the petals that are the full petals, not the ones that are overlapped, and then I kind of use the ones that are underneath to fill in the gaps. I'm not really following the reference photo exactly here because I don't think it really matters all that much. The next thing I do is I make sure that the edges of the flower petals are the correct shape and then I just go around and fix those. And then I take my kneaded eraser and I roll it across the page to pick up a lot of the graphite just so I don't have it in the way when I start coloring. The next thing I do is I use my 732 to create some of the blurry flowers that will show up in the background. It'll make a little bit more sense once the background's filled in a bit more. And then I use my 220 pencil to create a really nice outline of the outside of the flower. Well, this is what's going to help it come off the page a little bit more and stick out. And then I use my 225, 015, and 046 colors to just fill in the background randomly. I, I'm not really using the reference photo for this, I'm just scribbling it in because really I want to move on to the flower and frankly I'm kind of tired of doing backgrounds. I just wanted to use these colors for the example because it's important later on when coloring the flower. Basically what I do is I just fill it in randomly. The 046 by the way isn't a black, it's just a really dark brown. And then once I put a few layers of the colored pencil down, I use my paint thinner and paintbrush to just blend it out. I don't do more than this layer on it, and even though it's not the greatest looking background in the world, it's just what I wanted to move on to the flower. Because I'm working with a white flower, the purpose of this tutorial is to show an example of how things that appear white aren't actually white, and what really makes the flower appear white is the contrast between the background and then the flower itself. So that's really what the purpose of the background in this piece is, is just to show how the surrounding colors of the flower, because they're much darker than the flower itself, it kind of forces your brain to think that the flower is white, when in actuality it's reflecting most of the colors around it in the sky itself. The next thing I do is I move on to the center of the flower, and what I do is I use my 810 to just color in all of it, and then I use a little bit of the 046 to put in some shadows and a little bit of the 036 as well. And I just blend it out a little bit, and then I move right into working with the petals. For the most part, I am only using the 004 and the 002, both of which are a cool gray, which is very different than all the warm colors that show up in this image. However, it really helps bring the flower petals out. And so the way that I start is I take my 004 and I darken in all of the darkest shadows that appears on the flower petals and I just go through and do each petal at a time, putting in the lines and the decals. The next thing that I do is I take my 002 and I just color the entire flower petals. This 002 is a really light, cool, bluish gray. And after I do that, I use my paint thinner and I blend out all the colors. And you can see that the flower petals look pretty gray at this point. The only parts that are kind of still left white are the tips and some of the other parts where I didn't put a lot of pressure on the pencil. But for the most part, the flower petals are completely gray. The next thing that I do with the flower petals is I switch back to my 004 and I make sure that it's really sharp and I go in and I darken some of the shadows even more. And because I keep the pencil really sharp, I can add some of those really small detailed lines this helps the flower look a little bit more realistic. But like I said, for the most part, the importance of this piece is just an example of how not white 
white things are. After I do that, I go back through again with the 002 and I do just a little bit of blending and highlighting just to make the petals appear to be a bit softer. It also helps to create a small gradient where some of the petals appears to be lighter and it gives it a bit more three-dimensional look. The next thing that I'm doing here is what I refer to as pattern recognition. And basically in the middle of this flower, you have kind of this design that's going on. And if I was to try to create this design by putting the little dots that seem to be appearing in the center of the flower, it'd pretty much take way more time than I'm willing to put into the piece. And so what you see me doing is you see me drawing the shape of the shaded areas and the flower and then just reversing that same shape and that creates the exact design that's in the middle of the flower and then I just go through with my 077 and my 036 to bring out the shadows and make it look more three-dimensional. Alright everyone, here is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Remember that if you'd like to see the real-time video, to head over to my Patreon page. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.